Now we move on to the aesthetics of zinc and standing seam facades. Zinc can be chemically treated to give a wide range of different aspects, but always with a hint of grey. Natural zinc was the only option until 1978. Natural zinc is shiny, but forms a patina when it reacts initially with water and then carbon dioxide. After 3 to 10 years, an even middle grey patina, similar to quartz zinc, is formed, but it takes time for this to become uniform and many building owners are not that patient. Pre-weathered quartz zinc imitates naturally weathered zinc through a phosphatation process and changes very little over the lifetime of the roof or wall. Whilst pre-weathered light grey quartz zinc is not a painted finish, it is closest to RAL 7037. Examples of light grey pre-weathered quartz zinc. Left, Borough Viaduct. Houses in Winchester. And Seven Oaks School. Pre-weathered anthrazinc was first created in 1978 as a complementary flashing and gutter material for slate roofs. Its dark grey aspect has meant that it has become very popular for both wall cladding and roofing. Zinc would never naturally patina to a finish as dark as this zinc. Whilst pre-weathered anthrazinc is not a painted finish, it is closest to RAL 7021, seen here at Cardiff Arms Point and Bourne Estate, London. Blue, red, green, brown and now grey are our off-the-shelf pigmento range. The pigmento range is not a painted finish, rather it is more like looking at light grey pre-weathered quartz zinc through tinted sunglasses. The surface colour is created by adding mineral pigments to a durable pre-weathering which is then sealed with a protective coating, creating beautifully organic red, green, blue, brown and grey pre-weathered zincs. Pigmento can be used for the same applications as natural quartz zinc and anthrazinc. Glasgow Hospital, Architect's Office in the US and Southampton Hospital. Godson Street in London uses nearly all finishes. Last year, Pigmento Charcoal Blue, Dark Grey Zinc with a hint of blue and Pigmento Storm Grey, Dark Grey with a hint of red were introduced. Job-specific bespoke Pigmento finishes are an option when the minimum order is 3 tonnes. A Zenga, which is engraved zinc, combines a mechanical treatment with a chemical treatment. Maxwell Centre, Cambridge, BDP, Shrewsbury Renovation and Seymour Street by Eric Parry Architects. Azengar zinc can be used in the same way as all other zinc finishes for both roofing and wall cladding. A metro map of product innovation over 184 years. All finishes can be used for all systems, including standing seam panels, which are the only system that can be used for low slope roofs, 3 degrees minimum as built, as well as walls and even soffits. Warm wall construction is possible, but most clients and organisations such as NHBC prefer vented cold wall construction. It should be noted that zinc is non-combustible following EN 13501-1. Therefore, natural zinc, azengar, quartz zinc and anthrazinc are all A1. By applying a coating to the zinc, which is the case with Pigmento and VM Zinc Plus, this moves the zinc to an A2 classification, but still allows the zinc to be used on all buildings above 18 metres in height. Traditional standing seam wall cladding has been installed over a timber support, but for projects where EN 13501A1A2 materials are required, the timber can be replaced with a 0.7mm thick galvanised steel deck. As with all cavities, fire barriers must be used in accordance with B3 and B4 of the current approved document B. Standing seam panels will never be completely flat, but using 0.8mm thick zinc and single lock panels 430mm wide will help with this. For installation ease, it is recommended that panels be no more than 4 metres in length. A number of flashing details are available, depending on the overall design of the facade. In this instance, the vertical seams are aligned with the window jamb.
let's look in more detail at Standing Seam. The Standing Seam is a fully supported roofing and cladding system. Panels have a 25mm high seam and are typically 430mm centre to centre in 0.8mm VM zinc on a facade. One side of the panel has an L or male leg and the other a U or female leg. Two types of stainless clips are used, a fixed one-piece clip and a sliding two-piece clip which allows for thermal movement. The clips fix the male leg and the female leg of the next panel is then placed over the top. The seam is then closed to a single lock using a first closer. This allows the zinc to sit a little flatter on the facade. For roofing, a double lock must be used. Take care to install all panels with the same rolling direction. As the single lock is being used, it is possible to use only one piece fixed clips. By notching the zinc, the panel can no longer slide down. Panels may have to be cut to width and then profiled using a folder depending on the width of the window. A 20mm upstand is created at the sill and a 30mm fold for the base. The zinc can be cut using shears or a grinder. When folding the zinc, care should be taken so as not to damage the panel and the use of a wooden block can assist here. The window sill is then folded using the appropriate dimensions and installed. The jams and window head then receive the flashing strips and the window jam is installed over the top. The head flashing is screwed into place. The window jam is crimped into the standing seam, which is aligned with the window. The head flashing is then fitted. A 30mm head is folded onto the panels above the window. The seams are crimped and the film is removed. This is a method for installing seams that follow the window jams.